I do think the state has a positive role. And I think there's been a premature uh, wishing away of the need for states and for large institutions. So much of the best and most progressive social action recently, I think of the Occupy movements at St. Paul's, but in Wall Street, the um, broad spread of a sort of anti-corporate globalization movement and so forth, have been inspired by thinking that we'd like to wish the state away and wish our need for it. And that doesn't mean there aren't lots of problems with states, we don't need to fix them. I don't think we can easily wish them away. I think it's very difficult to scale up some of the work. So it's great to found local cooperatives and alternative economies and barter systems and so forth, and they help people a lot in times of economic difficulty, but they don't stand up well to the unbridled force of the market. And if we want to compensate for some of the kinds of problems um, that are created by capitalism, uh, the environmental problems, the um, issues of extreme inequality, the um, way in which uh, uh, corporations essentially are organized and able to externalize costs of their businesses that have to be borne by the taxpayers. We need to think in terms of states, uh, so we need states, full stop. Moreover, the nation state hasn't really gone away. Um, Forty years of social thinkers have imagined moving to a cosmopolitan world as though it were somehow escaping from all of the constraints of nation states and even escaping from culture. I don't think that's plausible. I hope everybody will be more cosmopolitan and attentive to um, the wide diversity of the world. But an effective life and an effective mode of large-scale organization in the world has to include state institutions and other large institutions. So we may want to change what these look like, but we can't um, just wish that we didn't need them and ignore them and let them decline. And an irony of the decline of the state institutions that Temple was committed to, the welfare state institutions in Britain, is that when an attack came from the right, the left actually wasn't prepared to defend them. Um, it was in many ways um, prepared to join in the cynicism about the large institutions that have been built, to forget the progress that have been made. So um, I will want to talk about the importance of building institutions as a way to contend with the kind of transformations of the world and the kind of power that is involved in markets and also in other phenomena in the world that are big issues. The, the clashes between nations, religions, cultures that we see in such upsetting form in the world. I don't think there's a, a stabilization to the world that can take place without building institutions.